Welcome back to the channel guys. So last time I said I was gonna keep the intro very brief and it ended up rambling on for three minutes. So this time it's really gonna be brief. Let's get straight into the video. Play. How are we going guys? So it's a Tuesday. I'm not normally out here on a Tuesday, but I had a job site really close to the city and I finished very, very early. So um, yeah, here I am on a Tuesday. I'll only be here for like 45 minutes, so it'll be a very, very quick session. Um, hopefully I get one or two good pictures. And yeah, I thought I'll just take you guys along for the journey. So let's get into it. Yeah, so as I've said in previous videos, um, there is a bit of an ethical or moral nuance when it comes to photographing children, but I think it's important to document children and especially the interactions they have with their parents um, is pretty special and we can't look back in a hundred years and think well children just never existed because they weren't photographed so yeah I think this is a pretty cute innocent photo lovely smile and the colors are popping with that yellow here I notice the faces on her pants and the billboard behind her, just all the faces look very obscure and I don't know, I thought there was a bit of a link between her pants and her billboard. I only noticed that after, of course, but... Yeah, I was thinking, don't, don't take a photo of this man, you know, don't take advantage of him, but hey, street photography, what you see is what you get and he was doing this in the streets and I captured it and I think it's quite funny. I like how the... Pigeon has a bit of green that matches his t-shirt as well and grey, so I think they are somewhat one. Here I noticed this cool purple backdrop. All I needed was a purple subject and she walked right in 10 seconds later, so pretty happy with that one. Dylan Purple. Now this, I was using the Street Performer as a foreground element, you can't really see because I didn't actually look up while I was taking the photo, but I saw a girl with red hair reading a book, which was also kind of red, matched her hair color. Here I'm using the puddle as a nice reflection. Notice this man sitting on his lonesome on the stairs. And yep, now there's two of him. Um, I wasn't done with this shot. I wanted a different angle and yeah, I noticed a woman walking down wearing pretty much like a gothic black outfit. That's pretty tame for gothic, but yeah, I thought that looked pretty cool. Got the nice reflection too. This is one of my creepy shots because it literally looks like I'm creeping, but I'm not. I'm just using stuff around me as so I can subframe her. I was using those circles so to subframe her, which is put in a frame in between something. So I've seen this man across the road with these nice, nice flowers. So I'm sprinting. I really wanted this photo to be better because just his outfit, he looked like he was wearing a joker cape or something, cardigan, and the nice bright pink flowers, but yeah, at least I got something better than nothing. I've never taken photos from this angle, so every time I go, I'm trying to explore and find new places. If you'll notice this man running into the scene, now he points and says, hey, so you dropped something. I managed to capture him as he was running and pointing. So yeah, it's pretty cool just observing things like that as a bystander things you wouldn't otherwise observe so it's cool to actually be a part of the environment being a fly on the wall i really like the framing of this i think everything just fell into place she wasn't completely in focus but it doesn't matter now this is a creepy shot but once again i was using the elements around me to sub frame him and he ends up making eye contact with the camera, which I like. It's still candid for that very first second they make eye contact with the camera. Anything past that, I'd say it's not candid. And 
there you go. That bright orange puffer I could see from a mile away and he coordinated it with the shoes too. Nice little cafeteria, two people working on their laptops. Although I don't think she is actually, you don't see elderly people working on laptops. Now then he was nice and symmetrical in the frame, right in the middle. Now this one I got my camera settings ready before I pointed the camera in the store just so she was caught off guard. I saw her playing around with her fragrances or oils or whatever they are and I wanted to catch her in a natural habitat, completely candid. Here's a candid shot of, you can't really see, it's not those two people at the table but it's behind them, a family eating at a restaurant. Um, this girl stood out to me. I think it was the green curly hair. Yeah, pretty happy with the colours in that one. I like the green brown tones and the cream. This is Flinders Lane, a pretty popular lane to take photos of. Always looking for interest in subjects in this lane. By subjects, I mean people. This guy was walking around with a massive moon boot and a cool beanie. And this photo, I love the colors in it. A bit of fluoro in the background and pop out with the high vis and the sign. As I was walking to the station, I just noticed this person sitting on her own for a while actually. And managed to snap that right before I caught the train. She never looked up, not even once, or he. Person never looked up, not even once. So as I stated earlier, just a very quick session. Uh, I think it was 45 minutes to one hour. Got some decent shots, got some crappy shots. It was all a bit of a speed run, so yeah. Um, thanks for coming with me and I'll see you guys in a bit. Later, bye. And here's another photo that I didn't actually record. I'm upset because it's probably my favorite photo of the day, but I got the shot regardless. Reminds me of the bird lady from Home Alone. And here's just a quick summary of the rest of my shots. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you next time. <laughs>